Hello, my name is Richard Stern. I'm a research scientist. I'd like to introduce you to the Shrimp Laboratory of the Research School of Earth Sciences at ANU. So SHRIMP stands for Sensitive High Resolution Ion Microprobe. And as the name suggests, we are interested in probing materials, in this case, solid materials in the geological sciences and the logical sciences and even archaeology. Scientists are interested in solid materials and the chemistry of solid materials to understand their origins. And the shrimp is one of many tools that can help scientists understand the chemistry, um, and particularly here, the isotope chemistry of these solid materials. This is our main laboratory of the Shrimp City, which is equipped with three SIMS instruments here. Uh, they are SHIM2, SHIM RG, and SHIM SI. They, each of them were designed for particular different capabilities. The first generation of the Shrimp was designed here in 1974. And in the past 50 years, it's had a wide range of applications on the paleo environment, human evolution, our genesis, uh, early life, and the space science. It's my second home here, and uh, I feel I quite enjoyed with my all three instruments um, because we all have that kind of uh, shrimp spirit. The shrimp can work as a window into the earliest days of the solar system. So using this technology, we've been able to reconstruct the life history of these really critically endangered sharks. I'm especially interested to better understand how environmental information is recorded in those growing biominerals. This is really a playground uh, for scientists like me. My name is Petra Vaiglova. I'm a biomolecular archaeologist, and I'll be showing you through the sample preparation room, which is over here. So we've got lots of different instruments that we can use to get the samples ready, get them polished, and kind of in the right in the right shape um, before they go on the on the instrument. Um, so the specific samples that I work with are horse teeth. Um, this is a, a second molar of a horse. So this is where we have the, the sectioning and the polishing equipment. Um, so here is a saw that allows us to slice our sections. And then here um, we have polishers that we can um, use to, to basically uh, make the surface as shiny as possible. So we can take very high resolution microscope images of the teeth. So once we've prepared our samples, we coat them with either um, aluminum or gold, and then they're nice and conductive and we can put them into the shrimp. Isotopes are the barcodes, if you like, of solid materials. Rather like DNA tells us about the origin of biological materials, isotopes are really important for telling us about the origins of solid materials, both geological and biological. So when we use the shrimp, we're doing very targeted analyses of isotopic compositions within tiny mineral grains. We can place a spot that's maybe only a 50th of a millimeter in diameter or even a hundredth of a millimeter in diameter on a very specific part of a crystal to see when that formed and what kinds of fluids created that crystal. And so you can see here an example of a grain of the mineral zircon. It's only a quarter of a millimeter long and we're targeting it with a very tiny beam of ions. So if I turn the beam on, we're firing oxygen ions at the sample, and you can see we're burning a little hole into the uh, mineral grain there and extracting the lead and uranium ions out, which are going into the mass spectrometer of the shrimp. It's been really amazing to be able to use the shrimp to obtain this kind of data. Just an instrument which has been built here in Canberra can be used to answer very fundamental questions such as the delivery of water to Earth it's been really inspiring, it's been really sort of humbling to work on such a big question while sitting in front of an instrument and trying to answer that very important question that we have been trying to answer for decades. Thanks for visiting our shrimp facility. If you are interested in our facility, uh, welcome to reach out to us 
and come to have some fun with our streams. Thanks. <laughs>